Okay, ride pads. Here's what we're gonna do. This is G10, big nice sheet of it. Awesome, 30 thousandths inch thick. Otherwise known as FR4. Uh, I believe that stands for fire retardant. And the four, I don't know. But um, it is an epoxy um, fiberglass, basically fiberglass reinforced sheet. So ready made for us, so we don't have to make it ourselves. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I've already scribed my pattern and we're gonna cut it. What, how? No, the, simple. Okay, you're, you're measuring the width here and then I'm gonna overhang slightly. Okay, I'm allowing just a tiny bit each side. This, if I actually go right onto it, is two and about 10, 30 seconds. So I'm gonna cut it at 212, okay? And don't forget, well, maybe you don't know this. We are going to make this full length for these 10 inch pieces. Remember these were 10. And we're gonna include the kick out right here and you'll see why in a minute. So on yours, just measure this all out. I'm actually gonna have to cut a little bit. Ah, you'll see, it'll make sense in a minute here. But so this part here is a little bit wider at about a half inch at the end here, okay? Yours will be whatever it is. I have no idea if you can see those scribes, but I have shaped it there. You can cut it with a pair of snips being real careful on the line, and it'll actually turn out okay. It turns out great if you cut it on your bandsaw, if you have one. If not, that's fine. Like I said, you can do it with those shears, you can do it with a cutoff wheel. It is a little hard on the blades here. This stuff is just killer, man. I mean, it's killer. You'll see. It'll, yeah, I mean, it'll throw, well, maybe. I think it'll throw sparks. I know, it doesn't have to make sense, right? Just watch close, I think it will. Can you see it? A little bit right back behind there. I actually think it's the blade letting go. I don't think I blinked in that whole cut. <laughs> Impressive, no? Oh wait. Maybe next time I'll use a snip so I don't ruin a blade. It's just cost me 20 bucks. It's not, I know it's not gonna fit because I gotta deal with this here. Did I leave it that wide? Who's the, who's the idiot? I did, I left, I left way more than I needed to. Come on, don't be like that, man. Okay, let's trim it down. All I need to do is clean this edge up a little bit, make sure it's straight, and then we'll take our width down on this other side here. There's that spot where I got off track. Let's try to get down there quicker. I see, I left a whole bunch of extra here. Let's do this. Certainly isn't gonna matter up under here. This is gonna get concealed. Pretty much right on the edge there. So I could take a tiny bit more. Nice and square back here. Let's buzz a little bit more off of that. Even if I take slightly too much, doesn't matter. Again, this isn't uh, a thing that's going to be visible. Okay, I'm feeling a tiny bit of overhang here. That's all I want, okay? Can you see how much is left here? Quite a bit. 
right? How are we going to take just that amount? Let's uh, see if we can see it if we do this. I think so. About like that. I think I might have got it just a little bit crooked, but we'll see. pretty good. Let's go ahead and cut this, make this fit. Remember we're going to overhang on the back. Just a little. You don't got to get all carried away with it. I can kind of see that. Light overhang. Quite a bit heavier here. We're gonna knock a little bit more off of there, all right? Okay, now's a good time. Really before doing this would have been a better time to check. Let's make sure we're still where we wanted to be. Uh, remember, we're doing basically somewhere around one and a half to one seven is kind of my goal here. Okay, zero. Do we have a good boat? We have a good boat. One seven. Is it faithful? I'm sorry, I was pushing on you. One eight. I think it raises up slightly here. No, one seven. Okay. Super duper. What's our angle here? I think. Were we not in the. I think I was going for like almost two degrees, something like that. It was more of a measurement than anything. I wanted a sixteenth of an inch drop side to side. I can't remember what that worked out to. A little under two degrees, I think, was the... There you go. 1.7 there. Is that faithful? 1.8. I can live with one click. And you'll do the same thing over here, right? You want them roughly the same. Give or take a click or two, get over it. The water is not going to know. All right, we have, was that, was that it or was this it? That's, that's the one for the other side. All right, now what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and attach this now. After this one is on, or you could even do it now at the same time with some clips. Remember, we left one sixteenth, one sixteenth of an inch step here. Same over here. So that's roughly 60 thousandths, right? Isn't it 62, five, roughly 60. This is 30 thou. And after this is on, you're gonna lay a strip of 1 32nd, one millimeter material. Like this. guessing. I think it's too narrow. Oh, I might use that piece.
There it is. Okay, so once that's in, you're gonna lay this on here. Put a couple clamps on there and hold that in. And if you did it right, you should be nice and flush here. You can sand a little bit, whatever you wanna do to get that finalized there. Okay, now, also, I think I talked about this in the last video, but let's talk about it again. Use your templates and remake these two pieces here. Only you only need, you know, eighth of an inch worth of it or a quarter inch or whatever. And we're going to glue that on inside of each piece here to give us the double width, you know what I mean? So we've got an eighth inch each side to support our recovery pad. Your ride pads are ready to go. You're gonna glue this on with G10. I'm sorry, G Flex. You're gonna glue the G10 on with G Flex. You gotta scuff this stuff like your life depends on it. Look how shiny that is. It won't stick very good. This stuff sticks like mad to everything, except FR4. Mark it so you know where you're at. I'll typically use a Sharpe. Oh, look at this. Let's gaze into each other's eyes. Oh, can you see it? <laughs> oh, the things that amuse me. And it's, it's not like you don't know where, where you need to be here, but I'm going to typically do this. just to convince myself to scuff the crap out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and probably put a dab right here, um, just as a little bit of support. You know what I mean? Doesn't really need it, but so we're gonna scuff it there too. Also, by the way, write something on there. You don't wanna grab it and start scuffing this side. You wanna be able to read the lettering <laughs> and you're gonna scuff it under here. Again, your life depends upon this. By that I mean, I don't even know, is this 80? I'd, I'd rather use 60. Everything's in my way now. I can read it, so I'm gonna do this side. I'll just do this part right here so you can see it. I'm done, right? No. You're gonna cross hatch this baby everywhere that you're going to epoxy it. I'm doing this way too light right now, only for your benefit so you can see what I'm doing. I'll spend some time on that until you get sick of it. Cross hatching this thing everywhere that it's going to attach. Okay. You're also going to, I should have marked it. You're going to do it right across here too, where that, that piece of uh, one millimeter is going to lay right there. Okay, the bottom part here, nice and shiny smooth. Later when we're getting ready to shoot the boat, we'll probably go ahead and just do a real light scuff on this here because we're just gonna shoot everything. And then we'll come back and scuff that light again. Might even wanna just tape it off because it's done. Actually, I do have, mm, not gonna tell you yet. There's something coming, okay. Do that, scuff the heck out of it, glue it on with your, with your G10. What you're not gonna do is take your one, two, three blocks and lay them on here for weight. Because what I just did was I bowed it. You're gonna lay all the way across it. And you're gonna go all the way down. Or that's all the gap I'm allowing you. Don't leave a bunch because epoxy will stay. Okay, so whatever you're weighting it with, I, I, don't, I don't care. Uh, something like this. Whatever it is, the, the point is you have to bridge all the way across here. Or you'll distort it. Is it a big deal? No. But we are building a showpiece here. All the way down. Glue that baby on. Okay, that's how you're going to do that. Let's glue those on and we'll come back and talk about the recoveries. Okay, hang tight.
Whew. Laying it on there pretty heavy, it'll soak pretty good into this non-plywood. You know, when you think about it, plywood is created by gluing different layers of wood together, right? And so it's already got a bunch of glue applied. So it doesn't soak in nearly as much in plywood as it would. Wood wood. Unplied. Non-plied. What do you call that? Wood? <laughs> you guys are so helpful. I know, it's not going to soak in here and it'd probably be fine just to slap the thickened epoxy on here. But the truth of the matter is that the raw epoxy without any filler is stronger an epoxy with filler. Let's see this source have with one quarter, yes. So technically, maybe, I don't know. Technically it's a strong term. I'm making this stuff up. I believe it's stronger this way. Yeah, in one of my videos, I talk about being able to remove these ride pads fairly easily. And it's true. Uh, that, that's why I talked about, uh, and you saw me doing this crosshatch sanding pattern on here because as awesome as G-Flex epoxy is it can be released from this G10 even if you cross hatch it and without too much fuss really I mean it comes off there pretty easily uh, so anyway that's why I cross hatch the heck out of it on this one, we are overlapping this end portion here with the recovery, which will all make sense soon. Uh, so these ride pads are never coming off, not without busting the recoveries up. Or plan B, if I ever needed to remove them and decided I was gonna change something, you can come in with your, uh, oh, cut off wheel, cut the end of that real quick, and then she would come right off of there. We do not have enough now. Uh, we can let wet that other one, I suppose. Might have enough for that, and then we will whip up a heavy batch. Did that make sense? What else was I gonna tell you? Oh, you know that we're running a, a super low three quarter inch ride height on this thing. And there's just never a time that I can think of where you'd want to run less. And why that matters is about the only re well, there's a couple reasons you might want to remove a ride pad. One would be to just imagine the boat's upside down right now and this is the back. Imagine you wanted to increase the angle, okay. All right, well, you might remove the ride pad and cut the forward section of the support down and then glue it back on, thereby increasing the angle. Plan B is just raising up the back end, but now you've also deepened the sponson, right? So in the case of this one, where it's already down at three quarter inch, the ride height, it's so darn low that, that you would just, I can't imagine a time where I would want to go lower. If anything, you might go deeper. And if at some point we decide to do that, We'll just add right onto this thing. Won't even bother removing them. Don't know if that made any sense. I started to get confused myself while I was saying it. Which, as you know, is not uncommon. 406. 
as you know by now, my all-time favorite filler. The only place I really need to uh, apply a decent amount is right here in the middle. I, th I think I mentioned before, it's not super critical that those uh, supports be there or that they touch. But without them, you know, you can imagine that that's a pretty, that's a pretty wide span. Quite a bit on the back there because I do want a fair amount to push out on purpose. Because we'll, we'll lay a, a little, a little fillet up underneath that overhang. Over here, my side piece is a little bit low in a couple spots. So that's why I'm going a little bit heavier over here as well. Because I do want some to push out over there just to make sure that it kind of takes care of those low spots on its own. And same thing, I have, I have a super light little overhang over there um, that will uh, we'll tidy up here in a second too. Let's go for it, huh? Touching most of the way around, if not all. Excellent. Your, the, this notch cut out here should line up pretty darn well here. You don't want a whole lot of overhang there. Tiny bit's not going to kill you. Okay, beautiful. Fabulous. Wonderful. I'm going to walk away for a minute and let that push out while we mess around with the other side. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's real easy to see. You'll see when you do yours. Where contact has occurred and where it hasn't. So if you have any problem spots, you'll see it. Should we clean that up? Hmm. I did not get as much there as I'd hoped. Actually, man, that might be just about perfecto. I don't know if you can see it. That's pretty dang good. I don't have as much as I want right in there. If you leave a little bit on the top, don't worry about it. Odds are it'll pop right off of there if we run a razor blade across it. Worst case scenario, we can sand it right out. Do you see how this brown kind of makes the darker lines go away? I just think that's so sexy. Uh. Maybe I should edit that out so YouTube doesn't go crazy. I just think that looks so good. Yeah, I mean, it's a good time. We could do that part right now. But uh, While this stuff is still tacked up, we got other things to deal with, right? I'm not gonna worry about these blocks. They'll pop right off of here. Let me check and make sure I'm where I want to be. Yes, it is. Let's tidy up that little fillet on the back here. I don't know if you can see it. It's exactly what I would want. A little excess. Bingo.
I like it. I like it a lot. What was I saying? Oh, this, we're gonna wind up sanding this. Not a lot, you know what I mean? Because we, we don't want to change the depth. Well, we might want to. I mean, we've, we've got to go back and remeasure all that before we do our final sanding work on here to get these in exactly the shape we want. Okay, can you dig it? Look at where the original framing was. You think we changed it much? But will it work? I have my opinion. Yeah? All right. Oh, yeah, ride pad, thank you. Do you mind if I get all this epoxy off my fingers first? Oh. The one that got away. All the way forward, flush mounted here. Very light overhang. Here, we're all set. All the way forward, flush, very slight overhang. Life is good. Look at that. Get you some. All right, glue yours on. Here we go, getting close. Mm.